everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and look what I just got in the mail. You can't see it, because <laughs> it's probably too far away. Uh, it's the new Wayne Goss eye palette, the Pearl Moonstone, and the two eyeliners. Um, I've got them in, let's see, Blue Sapphire is one shade, and Deep Amethyst is the other. Now, you might notice that I have nothing on my face except for my brows, my brows are done. That's about it. I have heard some things about this palette. They may or may not be true. But if they are true, <laughs> I don't wanna have anything else on my face when I do this. So, um, let's open this up. Does anyone else have problems like opening packaging? Or is that just me? I can't seem to like open things. I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. All right, it's the old, it's the old age setting in. All right, so this is Pearl Moonstone. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot on this already, but if you're watching and you decide to keep watching, you're gonna see more on it because I'm gonna go through first impressions. What I'm gonna do is I'll put it all over my eye. I'll swatch it for you, put it all over my eye, then I'll just off camera do full makeup and come back so you guys can see it. I really just wanna focus on the palette and the pencils. So the blue sapphire, Ooh, that's a really pretty blue, actually. I really like that blue. That's really nice. I like a good blue. It, it makes your eyes look whiter. I admit I was in my teenage years in the 80s. That is the amethyst, the deep amethyst. Also really, really pretty. Um, so I do have a uh, penchant for uh, blue. It's just the way it is. All right, let's watch these shades. Let's go in with the peach, which looks like a peach to me anyway. On me, who knows what it will look like. On my skin tone, it probably won't show up that much, but I'll do my best to swatch it for you. All right, let's go into the first gray. Now this first gray looks to me like a gray, a true gray matte. And when I say true gray, it doesn't look too cool or too blue. It looks like a good balanced gray. Here's the black. I like a good black in a palette because you can use it to deepen up pretty much any shade. I know he had um, black in his other palette as well. All right, now let's take this next gray that to me looks almost blue, especially on me. Like it goes, you know, that cooler blue. If I could think back to art class, I could come up with a name, but it's not happening. My brain is dead this week. Now this is definitely a shimmer like the peach shade. It's got a little bit of a warmer tone to it than the other two grays, just a little bit almost has like a little bit of like an inflection of silver underneath. And then of course, this pressed glitter that let's face it, everyone's really been talking about. And that's that shade. And of course we're gonna use that shade. Now this is a first impressions video. I'm gonna play around with the palette a lot more, but I wanna go in and try a couple of the shades, see how they look on the eye, you know, go right in. I have nothing on my eyelids, nothing. I don't have anything prepped, nothing. I don't have powder. So we're gonna see how this goes on just, you know, by itself, which can be good or bad. There are some uh, eyeshadows that I have that look fantastic on, but you really do need to put down some powder or a prep, um, you know, eyelid prep, whatever it is, um, before you use them for them to look their best. And then I have other eyeshadows that work just fine without that. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, and it's not necessarily a problem with the palette. You just have to remember, you may need some kind of prep on your eye. Most people do. Most people put something on. Uh, I'm When I try out a new product, I don't put anything on my eyes just so I can see it. Uh, let's go on with that first gray, the one that I said was like a true gray. It almost looks like a cement gray. We're gonna put this in the transition. 
It's going on quite well. I mean, my skin is dry. I don't have oily eyelids, I will admit. But um, the oiliest part of my face uh, is not my eyelids. The oiliest part of my face is definitely my um, T-zone. And even that's not, partic <laughs> not particularly oily. Uh, you know, when people were in high school talking about uh, acne, I, I avoided that particular problem. I had other skin issues as if you watch, you know I have rosacea and other things. And now this stupid precancerous thing, which seems to be healing. I mean, it's still a little red, but fingers crossed, uh, it goes away. But anyway, um, but yeah, I have never had oily skin. Uh, you know, there's times of the, the month, year, whatever, my skin is oilier, but never ever oily. So when, when I was younger um, and doing makeup, you know, when I was working for Chanel, I got a lot of how do you keep your your eye makeup on for so long? Like it, it just doesn't, you know, and it's because <laughs> it's because my eyelids are dry. Um, they crust, they uh, get red and irritated, but they're never oily. So shadows stay well on me because there's no oil to break them up. Um, so a lot of times when you guys ask me, you know, what's the longevity? Uh, I do want to make you aware of that. Like if something, if somebody's skin is dry and they don't have oils to break down a product, it's probably going to stay better and longer. So just be aware of that. I'm not, I'm not saying that my uh, experience is wrong. <laughs> it's just, it just might be different than yours. Um, okay, so that actually looks really good. Let me blend it uh, 03 Wayne Goss brush. Um, I love the Wayne Goss brushes, of course. And we will use a Wayne Goss lip. We'll use liner and gloss or lipstick to finish off the look today. That looks really nice. Blended well. It's a, I mean, it's a gray. It's not. I'm not going to say it's a revolutionary color, but gray is an important shade. Looks really pretty on. Um, okay, so let's take the deeper gray. Um, where is my, this is my Wayne Goss number four brush. Let's go into that bluer gray. And just sort of deepen this up. Yeah, let's... Definitely has more of a blue cast. I mean, like I said, I've said before, things go blue, cooler toned on me, but that definitely has more of a blue tone, like when it goes on the eye, where the other was definitely more gray. You know, if you've ever, um, you don't necessarily have to have gone to, to art school or anything like that, but if you ever tried to pick out a paint color for your walls, um, any of you who've seen my skincare video, know that I have a deep gray in my bathroom. It's Dior gray, by the way. There's a couple people who have asked. Um, the one in my bedroom is also gray, but it's a different gray. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of gray paint in my house, um, but you know, some gray is uh, very deep and you need to balance it off. The one in my bathroom, the Dior gray, I actually have a lot of hot pink uh, photos and um, accessories in the bathroom to counteract and the countertops are a white marble uh, to keep you know the the dark gray in check the other colors that I have like the one in my bed in my bedroom is a almost like a dove gray and I have a lot of steel blue that I have that goes with it so again you know a gray isn't just a gray um, as like I said as anyone who's ever tried to pick out a gray paint when you put it on your walls you'll notice like one looks like frankly a prison and the other looks like a soothing spa. So it does make a very big difference what kind of undertone a gray has. Um, my long explanation of why these two grays are different. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely see that. I, I mean, I like a cool tone gray, actually one that goes a little bit more blue. Again, I'm sort of attracted to those shades. So for me, you know, it's all good. Um, okay, so I am not gonna use the black today because I feel like 
it's black. It, it's gonna be similar to the black in his other set, I think, uh, which we'll take a look at. So I have a new um, Kyoto brush um, from Beautylish, and I don't remember which one this is right now, but I will put it down below. Let's try it. I'm gonna take that like silvery gray shade. Just put this on the eye. I have not tried this brush yet. Oh, the brush seems to work well, okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna put this on the eyelid. Let's, cause I just wanna see how this looks and how it blends. Very nice. Good, nice gray shade. It's like I said, it's, it's, a, it's got a silver to it, um, but it's a little more warm toned than the other shade. But I think that's very pretty. So you could literally stop here, take maybe the black, go in with the black, deepen it up, take that peach, use the peach um, in the inner corners and in the uh, brow. There's lots of things you could do here. What I wanna do today is I wanna try out this blue. Now, I'm gonna use my finger and then I'm gonna try a brush and we're gonna see what we get here. Uh, I'm not gonna use any spray or glitter glue or anything like that. Okay. Decent amount of fallout, but that is to be expected with glitter. <laughs> I mean, okay. I know I'm making weird faces with my mouth. Sorry guys, but I, when I do this with my finger, I always open my mouth. So you're just gonna have to deal with that while I do this. So I'd say the, the way to get the intensified look here is to pat it in like well and go back in because you need to build this up a little bit. You could do this very sheer, I think, but I also think you can do what I just did. Now, you're gonna see there's, there's definitely a lot of glitter around the outer side and like under my face. So if you're gonna do a look like this with this much glitter and I really packed it on, I would do what I did and not put on um, foundation first. Let's try a brush. Um, let me try, I want a dense, I want a, I want a Sonia G brush, short stubby brush. Let's try. Let's try the Builder 2 and see how that works. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna get a much lighter. Look, if I do it that way. Still stunningly beautiful, but I mean, like a different kind of look. Let me try, let me try my Builder Pro brush, Sonia J Builder Pro. Yeah, that picked it up easier. Yeah, I like this. This works really well with this one. So this is the Builder Pro brush, guys. And this picked it up really well. I think you can see that. Need a different, you know, my dad used to work on cars. He liked doing it. it I don't know why he didn't want to go to a, a mechanic, but he liked doing it. He was an electrical engineer. He liked fixing things. And what he always said is there was always a tool for every job. And that, you know, he over the years had accumulated so many tools because you needed one specific tool for every one specific thing. And makeup is not any different. This, in my opinion, this particular shadow, this glitter, this brush did an amazing job. Look at that. And that is the Builder Pro. I'm gonna go back in with this brush and actually it's doing, in my opinion, a better job than my finger. And it's more precise. Yeah. Uh, this is the brush. Now, I'm not saying there aren't other brushes. I, I mean, I might, 
I just don't might not have them. But the Builder Pro, look what a beautiful job that did. Yeah, that's stunning. That's a stunning blue. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buff that in because I basically packed it on my eye. Um, I'll do a lighter look with it later, like more of a, you know, like a dusting of the glitter. Um, but for that, I think I'm just gonna leave that. So I'm gonna take a, a very small, uh, let's do the um, Chikahoto Z series. This is like that very pointed brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of that peach and just kind of run it up here very carefully because I think you could easily blend the blue into it. What I do next time is I would start with the peach and kind of lay down the peach first because I think that would be really pretty. Put a little bit in the inner corner here. Yeah, that's really nice. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I don't think this is going to look finished until I put some other makeup on because it's so blingy and so blue, but that is a stunning color. I went back in with my Cogendo uh, Cleansing Spa Water and like, washed off my face. And I would say that if you're going to use this the way I used it, which was to really pack it on, that would be my suggestion. I think if you put a full face of makeup on, you're going to be very glittery if you pack it like I did. So let me show you, let me show you up close. You can see how heavily I have it on my eyes. Like I really went for like the deep blue shade. Now I think if you took like the black shade and put it underneath, you could get something even more intense. Like if you just did this with this over it, I mean, that would be stunning. Or if you did this with this over it, or if you did this like underneath and then just use the silver, I mean, there, there's so many combinations here. That you could do that you could absolutely do all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put on my face makeup i'm going to put on um, foundation uh, blush and all that good stuff i've been using the um chanel a lot <laughs> because i really like it but today i'll use the um suku because i haven't uh used that as often and i do really like this formula the only thing I don't like about it is that, you know, it's in a tub, but you know, nothing's perfect. Okay, so we've got foundation on. I really like the Suku foundation, guys. It's really, really good. I think um, if you have a drier skin type, if you're a drier skin type especially, it's, it's excellent. Okay, okay, so we have a little bit of Gucci bronzer on. I realized while we were doing this, I was like, I should use the Wayne Goss on camera for you guys so you can see the, the blush. I was gonna do the, um, oh shoot, the really colorful one. Why can I not remember the name of it right now? It's like sitting like 10 feet away from me. I can't remember, but the really, really bright one. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the really bright one. I'm gonna do the blush peony. Um, what is wrong with me? Vibrant something, okay. Yep, rain is gone. So what happens when you're not sleeping and working 10,000 hours. So we're gonna go with the Artist Collection Wayne Goss brush, of course. I hope you guys have picked up um, at least one of his blush palettes. I, I, I really can't say enough. I, I, guys, you know, I think those of you who have watched me for a while know I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you to pick things up if they're bad. The blush is awesome, really. I'm gonna pick up the last one. I don't have the, um, the one that's more like orange. I have the vibrant one that I can't think of the name of at the moment. Um, this is the artist brush just in the large size. Um, and I have the coral rose and I have the blush peony. Anyway, <laughs> okay. You know what I'm talking about though, the more like orangey one that at first I was like, I don't think it could work. But then I saw um, a whole bunch of people use it, including A Merch Beauty. I lean on A Merch Beauty and it looked fine. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Just go buy it. So I'm going to get it. Okay, so let's use, I mean, we might as well use the blue sapphire liner, right? I mean, come on.
This is a good liner. It's going on really well. Nice and smooth. So guys, my um, perfume video is coming up in December. I know that kind of sounds like a long way away, but remember December is in like 10 days. And I smell like so many different fragrances right now <laughs> that when I went like this with my eyes, I was like, what is that? Then I'm like, oh yeah, that's like five different colors. I, I mean, five different scents. I have no idea what I've concocted, but it smells really nice. Whatever it is that I made up, it smells lovely. All right. Well, I really love that shade. It's not gonna be for everyone because it's blue, but I love it. In fact, it's gonna come in handy for a video that I have coming up. I won't tell you what that one's about because that one's gonna be, that one's gonna be fun. Okay, so not that they're not all fun, but this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so before we do lips and I put on some mascara and stuff, uh, I wanted to show you the difference between his original palette, which is the Imperial Topaz, and his new palette, the Pearl Moonstone. Very different palettes. This is a very warm tone palette. This is a very cool tone. Um, I think though that you have a similar um, structure here. You've got like satins, mattes, a shimmer, glitter or whatever and then the black i want to see if the blacks look different so here's the black from the as you can see still swiped on my arm but we'll swipe it in a different place all right so here's the black and i'm just going to do it once because i want to see that's the black from the moonstone okay now let's try the black from the imperial topaz yeah, there is a difference. The black from the Imperial is much blacker. The one from the Moonstone has a gray to it. You see that? Hopefully you can see that. The, this black, I know it's black, but this black is warmer, which makes some sense because it's in the Imperial Topaz and this black is cooler. That is very neat. I'm glad he did that because like anything, <laughs> black is not black. I mean, okay, all of you out there, you have how many black sweaters? Don't lie to me. How many black pants? And it's not the same black, right? And you put the black sweater with the black pants and they're two different shades of black and you're like, how is that even possible? Because it's different. The undertones are different. This is Imperial Topaz. This is the Moonstone. Why can't I never remember the name? Moonstone, right? Pearl Moonstone. What's wrong with me? Pearl Moonstone Imperial Topaz. See that? That's really interesting. I mean, in the pans, they look the same, but they are not the same. And the feel of the um, glitter, pressed glitter shade in the Imperial Topaz, that like creamy, is actually um, similar to this blue. Although I will say the blue feels a little softer to me than the, the cream does in the Imperial Topaz. These two here. The, the blue does seem a little softer. But I wanted to compare those so you guys could see because the blacks, they're different. They're not the same. All right, well, I will clean that off my arm later because that's not coming off easily. Uh, that's the other thing about these shades. I just wiped it off with a micro towel. It's still there. So they don't come off easily. All right, uh, let me curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then we will go into a Wayne Goss lip. <laughs> this is the closest I, I this is the closest I ever want anyone to my face. This is extremely close. Okay, but I do want you to see how stunning this blue shade is. First of all, and I, I am saying this literally, it would be worth the money to buy this palette for this one shade. It's stunningly beautiful. Um, now I think we all kind of knew that we saw the ads, we, you know, we, we saw the, the people using it and this shade is just, I mean, it's the standout shade. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would say though, is it doesn't, if you look at it, it's not emphasizing over emphasizing any of the, the texture on my eyelids. I, again, I'm 48 years old. I have problems with my eyelids. They are actually kind of, um, uh, 
crusty right now and you can't even tell with this eyeshadow on, which is pretty freaking good. Um, the other thing I wanna say is the Builder Pro. So if you're not familiar with Sonia G or specifically the Builder Pro, I, let me explain what kind of uh, uh, brush this is. So this is dense layers of extra soft bristles um, that pack on pigment while minimizing fallout. So this is specifically made to pack color onto the lid and it is it's made with um, dyed goat hair. So the goat hair is not as soft as the squirrel, but it's, it, but it's a soft, uh, Seikoho, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. Somebody can let me know, but it's Seikoho goat hair. I've seen it a million times. I'm just not absolutely sure how it's pronounced. Um, and so although the bristles are soft, they're not super soft, they are densely packed and they, this particular brush is specifically made to pack on color but minimize fallout. So what I would suggest to you guys is if you're gonna do a look like this with this type of formula, it is stunning on the eye, but you're gonna want a brush that is like this Builder Pro. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's a relatively thin brush, densely packed, it's got this like little bit of domed shape here and um, the it's not super soft it's not like the artist brushes that have this very soft there's stuff on here but very soft almost like silk feel when you use these brushes when you use these brushes his artist brushes like I used on my face it's a very diffused look when you use a brush like this one, which is a densely packed, a little bit less soft, but when you're putting on a, something like this, this is what you need. If you use, like even the first brush I used, even the um, Builder 2 did not work as well. That Builder Pro worked much better. So just saying, you might wanna play around with different brushes to see which one works the best. Because when I used this, um, on this eye, it went on perfectly the first time. And although there was some fallout, it was much less than when I tried to use my finger or the Builder Pro. So I think as I've just a long way saying, brushes are important. <laughs> Find the right brush to make the right, the right tool for the right job. Um, but this, the look is stunning. That's just stunning. I mean, I love that blue. All right, let me take you out and uh, we'll work on lip. All right, so um, the only lip liner I have from Wayne Goss, I know, I know, I, I have to get more. I actually was going to get more and then the one I wanted was sold out for a while and then I was trying not to buy like everything under the sun. I know, it didn't work real well. Um, so I have the um, sepia. Let me know guys which other ones I should pick up. What other liners, you know what kind of liners I like, like brownie pink. Uh, I don't like red, like red line. I have, I don't even have a red liner, like a real red liner. I need to pick one up, but anyway. So let me know in the comments below what other liner I should get from Wayne Goss. And I promise you, I will order it as soon as I hear your comments. All right, of course, you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna tell me which liners to get and they're gonna be sold out. That's what's gonna happen. That's what happens to me every time, <laughs> every time. All right, so the two glosses I have from Wayne Goss, I need to pick up more glosses too. I have an Antique Rose and Chrysanthemum. What other glosses should I get, guys? I'm not gonna do, I have his lipsticks. I, I just, I'm not in a lipstick mood today. I wanna do, I wanna do gloss. Um, let's do Chrysanthemum. You know what, no, let's do Antique Rose. Let's do Antique Rose. But what other shades? Come on, guys, I need, I need suggestions. I need, I need suggestions on what to buy. I, uh, yeah, like I need more stuff. I love the Antique Rose with any liner. Like seriously, any liner Antique Rose looks amazing. Okay guys, final look. I love it, love it. Um, yeah, I love the eye palette. I need to play around with the other colors. I really was focused on the blue, I'm not gonna lie. It's what I wanted, it was why I bought it. I mean, I bought it because I really like the other Wayne Goss eye palette. I think it's a really good palette and a really good um, base palette like that I can use for everything. But I'll, I'll be, I wanna be very honest with you guys. I saw that blue and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. <laughs> 
because I love the shade. Um, blue is one of my favorite, like favorite colors. I just, I love, I love blue. And a shiny, shimmery blue, I can't, I can't not buy that. So I do love it. I think it looks gorgeous. I do want to play around with the other shades a little bit more. I did use a couple of them. It's not like I just used the blue, but I think, you know, to be fair, I want to try them all out and see how they all look like by themselves. Um, I used this, 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 this. I used every shade except the black. I used every shade but the black. The black is really pretty though because it, it, it is a cool black as you saw in my hand, um, like a grayish blue black, which is a great undertone to have in this palette. And I think what I might do next time, um, just to play around a little bit, I might do this with just a light dusting of this. And then another thing I'd like to do is I'd like to just use this peach shade like all over the eye and see how that looks. Um, because this is actually a really pretty shade. I think it would um, be a nice kind of like light, I just wanna run out the door, but I want something. Um, but anyway, I, I can't wait to play around with it a little bit more. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.